hello welcome back to my channel this is bluefin design and i'm nikhil and in this video we are going to continue our instagram application design prototype from where we left in our last video so if you haven't checked that out do watch that one before where we built the instagram home screen with the stories overview and um, the different posts where you can scroll down in this video we're going to cover a few parts for example the options in the uh, in the post and the comment screen for every post and the share screen so let's get started so we'll first begin with the options overlay in the instagram application for that i am going to create a new artboard with uh, the shortcut a or selecting this option from the menu i'm going to select the iphone 12 pro max as this is going to be an overlay i am going to select the entire artboard and then remove the fill so it's going to be transparent i'll add a shape and then add the two top corner radii and as i mentioned in the previous video i'm using this artboard as just a dumping ground uh, for all my components my icons my text copy and all the other content that i'm using in the entire design so uh, from where we left in our previous video i added a few icons um, that is the back icon and then the follow button that we're going to use now i also added these three icon shapes which are pretty self-explanatory um, in terms of the layering um, i actually converted them into components so if need be we can use them or reuse them whenever we want moving ahead i'm going to select all these three components copy them come to the overlay and then paste them over here okay there's one more stuff that i need to do all right so we have all these three components on that overlay ready now we need to add some more options down below so one of the options is um, I think Instagram keeps changing the options every now and then. So depending on what version you're using, you may see some different text. But for me, I see something like why you're seeing this post. That's one of the options. The other option is to hide this post. And then one more last option is to unfollow the user who posted this post i'm also going to add a background behind this post so the user can select tap and select this option from anywhere in this area I'm going to make that a transparent box and do the same thing for the other two options as well okay so now i think the overlay is ready i'm going to save my progress and i'm going to go to the prototype tab and here i have the overlay component and the main um, instance of it which i'm using in multiple places over here so i'm going to create the interaction directly with the main um, instance of this component to create an interaction i'm going to come here to the properties panel click on the plus icon and the trigger is going to be tap the action is going to be overlay and then i'm going to select the artboard let's go with slide up animation for 0.4 seconds let's see this in action so i'm using that component over here and since this was a component i can do um, the interaction with any of the instances perfect that's the best part about using components. You'll hear me say this probably many times during course of my videos. All right, so let's move on to the next part, which is adding the share screen now. So the share screen also is also going to be an overlay. So with the shortcut A on my keyboard, oh, I do have to go to the design tab first and then use the shortcut A for creating an artboard. And as we did before, we'll use the same artboard share overlay i'm gonna remove the fill so it's transparent i'll come to the other overlay and then just reuse some designs that we made 
uh, some components and some assets that we made before i'm also going to reuse this part over here since we are going to be sharing this post i'm going to find that photo because we need that over here but we need a very small part of it again i'm going to use a mask with both of them selected i'll press command shift m or control shift m and then going back to my asset screen i'm going to get some copy that is some text saying write a message inviting the user again with this case i'll add a background just so that in the prototype the user can tap anywhere to write a message as it works in the actual application i'll set the fill color the same as the layer behind it so it appears transparent but when i group all of these three items together it helps in the prototype okay now if you look in the application we also have a search box and then we have some more icons that we're going to use i'll add some text so the user can then search the person's account name or the name whom they want to share this post with so that's good organizing your layers is pretty important in all of your designs okay now i need the user's profile picture so i think the very first option is share this post to your story so that's what i'm going to make i think the text is blue in color all right so after resizing i think this is the option tappable area and now we'll start with giving some suggestions of who the user can share this with so i'm just going to create a copy of this or actually i'm going to use some of the content from this component that we made earlier i'm not making an instance i'm just copying some items because we don't want to use that particular component over here we are just going to reuse some of the items that we used inside that so i have the profile picture over here um i think the first line is the name of the account and then um the second line is the account handle and then we have the send button so i am just going to group all of these items together i think uh, right now we're going to make a repeat grid out of this and then with the first option selected that is add to your story and the repeat grid i am going to create the vertical scroll group all right so now we have the overlay for share see how that looks like Um, in real life, obviously, this profile picture will be different, but we can do that right now. So I'm going to select this profile picture and then go back to my plugin UI faces. And then it lets me select randomly um, the photos. And that's saved me so much time. I'm going to save my progress and then go back to the prototype tab. And like we did with the options tab over here. I'm going to go to the main component and with that main component selected we're going to create an interaction so I'm going to drag and create the interaction over here the trigger is going to be tap like before the type of action is overlay and it's going to be sliding up I'm going to save my progress once again and there you see the options i can now scroll down send and undo and come back as well perfect all right so now we'll create the comment screen so when you tap on this icon over here um you want to see more comments um there's a new screen that loads so like we um going back to the design tab I'm going to use um, create a new artboard and then set the fill of the entire artboard again. I will create the header up top. So I think for the comment screen, we have the back button. I will create the header for the screen now. And there's again the share button on this corner. 
I'll fix the position for scrolling and then lock it in place. Also lock the status bar in place. For the comments uh, on, the, on the page over here, we actually need the same caption and then we'll use this comment as an example for this tutorial. Um, okay, so now we have the caption on the top over here and then one of the comments down below. And with the comment, we'll create a repeat grid to how many ever comments you want to show. So the comment screen was really quick. And obviously in real life, we'll have different comments, but you get the idea. Let's save the progress. I'm going to zoom out. Like we did for the share overlay, we'll go to the prototype tab. And with this comment icon, uh, I think like the main instance of this component selected. I'm going to create an interaction and this time it's not an overlay it's actually a transition let's try slide right and once we come over here I'm actually going to add one more interaction that is to go back to the previous screen so I'm just going to select the previous artboard option again I'll save the progress so with this post here's the comment I think we have to reverse the direction so instead of slide right I'm going to use slide left again save the progress and now it works fine we can also then interact with these comments give them a like and since we used a component to share this post we can reuse the share dialog here as well and I think we have some time left in this session um, in this video to go over the story screen uh, at least we can do one example of that so again I'm going to go back to the design tab move these items out over here with the shortcut a I'm going to create an artboard like we did before give this the dark theme store background color and now I'm going to explain as I mentioned earlier I created this item and looking at the layers it's just a group of two lines to show the story progress so I think each story plays out for 10 seconds if I'm not wrong. We're going to come to this component, select the profile picture and the text, copy them, come to the story screen and paste them over here. Now we're going to reuse these items. I think we have one more option over here, which is I think the options icon. And like we did before, we're going to create the header. So who shared the story? And then down below, we'll add some space to respond to that story. So I'm going to create a shape. And this time I'm going to remove the border. Uh, sorry, remove the fill and only use the border. I'm going to give it a border radius for all the corners. And then use or reuse some of the text that we have been using. I don't know the exact wording, but I'm going to work with this because we used this message earlier. And there's one more thing, which is the send button. Okay, I'm going to group all of these. And then just to show you an example, I'm going to add one picture. Okay, so I think this is good for an example. I'm going to save my progress and then move to the prototype tab. I'm going to drill down into my stories section and then stories over here add an interaction let's try dissolve and let's see how this works so i'm just i'm just trying something over here save my progress we're gonna have to add some other interaction so let's try push right and then since the story plays only for five seconds i'm going to add a timed interaction of five seconds so this the delays for five seconds and then it's going to be the previous artboard after that all right so let's save the progress and the story opens up like here and as we did before we have the options dialog from here and the share dialog from here as well And after five seconds, this goes back. So that's it for today's video.
we've covered a lot of stuff we covered the options for the post we also saw um, the share overlay and the way you can share it with different people we also saw the comment screen and again you can share uh, from here as well so we were reusing the different components we saw the stories um, this is just a basic prototype of the stories uh, but we can actually develop more on that and we have the options dialog here again and also the share overlay over here as well we're just reusing the components and saving time since we have the story running for five seconds this will go back after five seconds to the home screen so the instagram application is coming along in our next video we'll see more screens like um, the search screen from the navigation bar the reels uh, store and the profile page as well we will also see the activity page um, in the next video so if you like this video please hit the like button and show some love um, share this with your network so more people can create uh, working prototypes of their designs and bring their designs to life uh, like we're trying in this video consider subscribing as i'll be adding more videos for you in the future Thank you so much for watching.